and bring back the intake itself. Now we're going to use our lovely container over here. And before we do this, we're going to need to get a regular bearing and place this on the hole here, just like so. And then we're going to take one inch piece, half inch screw, sorry. If you remember the uh, 7 8 inch screw here, we're going to loosen this and take off the caps nut. And then we're going to push it outwards, at least until it's not in the C channel. Then we're going to take our C channel coupler and put it, or before we do that, we have to take one inch screw, stick it in the middle hole here, and put a caps nut on the other side. After that, we're going to tighten the caps nut down. Remember, this will be the middle hole. And we're going to tuck this in here. It should be directly around the drilled out hole. And the 7 8 inch screw should be on the last hole of the C channel coupler. That you tighten it only a little bit to the point where the screw is barely coming out. We're going to flip this around and we're going to attach the cap, reattach the caps nut. Let's see if we can screw this on pretty nicely, and then we tighten this down. Going to do one more screw in the top area. Before we attach this, we're going to have to attach the motor cap to this. Now this motor cap is facing upwards, like so. I'm going to just screw that in. We're going to get the second longest axle here, and we're going to attach this. Now, what you're going to need for this, we're going to start with the thin bushing. Now, the thick part should be facing towards the motor. After that, we're going to use one of the flex wheels that we have, and we're going to push that right in. After that, we're going to get a three high strength spacer. That will go on like so. Then we're going to take one of the sprockets, stick that on. After that, we're going to get a two high strength spacer and then a collar. Now, for the collar, keep this loose until you put it on. Then, we're going to take another flex seal, paste that on. And you're going to take a two and a three high strength spacer, paste that on. And then we're going to have two consecutive sprockets. After that, we're going to have a one high strength spacer and then the flex wheel. Finally, on the other side, we're going to have a one spacer as well. Sorry, this is going to be a two actually. Should be able to spin pretty nice here. So after you're done placing the axle on, you're going to place the motor on it nicely it should fit on then you're going to take a regular zip tie and fit around the motor next we're going to bring this back now that this is com almost completed we're going to get a two spacer and put it on here slide this on underneath here then we're going to take a lock nut thin lock nut and then we're going to take two fours This is on here, then the fours, and then this is going to be two holes above. Right. Should look something like this. Now we can tighten this down. Nicely. Now we're gonna put this aside for now. Bring in six of the flex wheels. This is gonna be for the front assembly. Now we're gonna start this by taking this bearing and putting this on here. But this is probably gonna be easier 
go from the outside in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a one high string spacer and then reflect go going this way. And then we're gonna get a three high string spacer and then a four high string spacer and then a flex wheel. And then another three and a four. And we're also gonna add a one to this as well. Then we're gonna add the flex wheel. Then we're gonna add a two. Then we're gonna add one of these sprockets. Then we're gonna add a one. And then we're gonna get a two. And then we're gonna get a three. And then we're gonna get another one. Sorry, you can just replace that all with one four. Then we're gonna get a flex wheel. Then for our high strength collar. Then we add a three and a one. Then we're gonna add a flex wheel. Then we're gonna add another sprocket. And we're gonna add a three and a one. Then we're gonna add another flex wheel and a three. And then we're gonna put the bearing on the other side. We're gonna slide it in. this bearing with two screws. Should be able to spin pretty nicely. Remember the spacing will change based on your personal preference. Finally, we're gonna take the, the large bushing that we have, a place where the bearing does not have a, a, a full hole. Once you put the bushing in, this should be able to spin pretty nicely. If it doesn't, then you're gonna need to drill out the hole more for the bushing to fit nicely in. All right, so we're gonna place the axle in. We're going to have a one spacer start. flex wheel, a three, a sprocket, a two, and then a triple collar. Then we're going to take put the flex wheel and then you put two and the three and then you have the sprocket and then you have the four and then you have the final flex wheel. And before we finish this we have to put the bearing on the other side. So this bearing goes on this side over here. Then we put a one spacer and the thin bushing with the thick part facing outwards. Finally, you tighten the collar. And you're done. The last part of the intake, we're gonna take the chain that we have, take off a section of that chain. Underneath. Make sure it's the right length. You don't want it too tight or not too tight. This should, should be pretty nice. Sorry, this chain here goes downwards. And there you go, should be able to spin pretty nicely at that point. The last thing, you're gonna take a regular two spacer and half inch screw in the cap's nut. Half inch screw on like this. And attach this on the middle hole. The first middle hole on the 12 hole section. Should have this mechanical stop. On this side. And on the other side, we're gonna add the last half inch standoff, one fourth inch screw, one hole up from the bottom hole. You take a one inch standoff and place it on the first middle hole as possible above the C channel cup. This half inch standoff instead of a one fourth inch screw, this is going to be a seven eighths inch screw.
is it downwards? And the final one inch. It's really mad at the position of the seven. Alright, and then the conclusion of the intake assembly.